and I'm the CEO of Phonics. We're really proud to be here today with a wide range of businesses such as ITV, Taste Card, Comic Relief and Microsoft where we're discussing all the opportunities around mobile operator billing where 10 years ago it was a very linear product for things like TV voting and today it's used for a range of products and services such as buying something digitally, donating to your charity or even buying tickets digitally so you can go and access things. Direct carrier billing gives us the opportunity to engage with an audience that has previously been unavailable to us. They may not have PayPal, they may not want to engage with us via an 09 11 digit telephone number, but they may wish to charge to their mobile. So we've been doing Text Donate for about 10 years and we had the most successful night ever on Text Donate this year. Um, partially because we had a £20 tariff, which is absolutely incredible. And the UK public really got behind it and we raised an incredible 9.5 million in the space of six hours just by text. We are so grateful to the networks and all the people that we work with, the 100% out payment and all the support that they give us year round. So just a big thank you from us really. We like carrier billing because we find it converts really high compared to our normal traditional marketing mix in a time poor world where people have plenty of choice. So from a games perspective, um, payments are hugely important and there's a number of tools that you can use including carrier billing. Um, and out of all the tools we use, it's trust that we want and uh, carrier billing with the, supported by the network operators um, sort of overlays that massive amount of trust that we can give to our users. Uh, I know how much uh, mobile games are played on phones and tablets, but some of the figures Ben was quoting has made me realise what an absolutely huge industry it is and uh, you know the, uh, the hardcore spending an average of $35,000 uh, on uh, in-app purchases and games. Um, and then you've got 10% spending obviously much less than that but then the other 85% who have been monetized through uh, through advertising so I find that fascinating. I really enjoyed the presentations really seeing how so many people in different industries are galvanized for the opportunity around direct carrier billing the great work that Phonex have been doing helping to network these people together it's been a great networking event meeting many people that I haven't met before. Uh, I'm very interested to hear about um, direct billing and what uh, Comic Relief have been doing around the £20 tariff point so we're always uh, looking to allow people to give money to charity as frictionlessly as possible and to give them as much choice uh, so that was really interesting and, and hopefully more more flexibility in, in the tariff points we can offer. Uh, I like listening to Michael from Tastecard um, I thought uh, what he had to say was interesting and uh, not that the care building is not just another payment method but maybe a way of engaging with uh, different demographics. Actually for me, uh, the world of gaming, I know nothing about it, I'm not a great gaming consumer so it's really interesting to understand it and how their relationship with Phonex works and how they use carry billing which ultimately is something we as Comic Relief might get into. Well, the biggest thing for me was being able to hear from peers within the industry and people who are operating in the same space as we are um, and really to understand how they view the marketplace and what they're doing to maximise their opportunity and their revenue really. I think the range of mergers we have from charities through to gaming, um, it's a, a, a wide ranging set of services that we as Vodafone enable so yeah very very interesting to see the broad range of services that we offer. We run this event with Phonics uh, last year, um, great turnout of people, great wide ranging um, um, spread of, of merchants. So yeah, I think it's, this is the scale and scope of what we've done last year. This is bigger than last year. Um, and as I said, it's um, it's really, truly quite inspiring to see the number of merchants that are actually in the space of carry money. 